from Bass Fishing TV here and today I'm going to show you how to spool up a bait casting reel. The things you will need are a bait casting reel, some fishing line, in this case I'm using Trilene 15 pound, some cutting pliers, two of these little pliers, two of the, not pliers, two of these little like picks, a screwdriver, and a workbench. Let's go. First thing you want to do is you want to find a screwdriver that will fit through the spool of your line. Second, you stick it, what I do, I stick it right into the corner of my workbench so it's not too tight or not too loose so the spool's got plenty of room to spin. Now what I do is I take my line, stick it through the top eyelet and feed it all the way through all the eyelets. Get back to you when I get done with that. Now that you got your line through all the eyelets, you stick it through this first little hole. I don't know what quite that's called, but you stick it through there. You, I bring it under. I go all the way under till I can see the line, which you probably can't see that, but it's in there. Then I take one of these picks, I stick it in there, and I fish the line out, just like that. So now the line's sticking out. I can pull it both ways. Then I take the pick again and grab this top and pull it through also so I can tie my base knot on there. Now I just, I don't quite know what this knot's called. A lot of people just call it a granny knot. I just loop it through once. Then I loop it through again. Loop it through again. You pull it tight. You want to really make sure it's really tight on there so your line will grab. Then you take your line cutting tool, whatever you do decide to use, snip the tag end off. And now you get to the, uh, the retrieving of the line. I've already reeled in a little. Sometimes you gotta push the line through so you can get it to start collecting onto the reel. And then you just take this and you just reel her in. You want to you wanna leave about maybe a sixth of an inch of space between the top of the spool. I'm, I put a little more on there because I can get away with it, but that's about it. Put time lapse in here. Okay, since we're using 15 pound line, you can't put a whole lot on there, but after you're done, snip about, snip, I always snip to about where the handle is so I can get the most amount of line possible. You can do whatever, I don't really know, but you can just, I just bring it all the way down to about there. Crap, you guys can't see that. Bring it all the way down to the handle so you can have as much line as you can. You leave just a tiny little sliver off, and then you put your hook on there, whatever you really desire. I'm going to put just a little wacky one hook, that was Gary, uh, Gary Akimoto, or not Gary Akimoto. Those are the kind of Senkos you can use for this hook. Uh, I have a Gamagatsu, it's like one of those drop shot little octopus hooks, it's like a uh, it's like a one knot or something, I don't know, or like, I don't know, it's just a small hook. I use it for drop shot and wacky worm tooling. I'm just going to tie just a normal cinch knot where you tie it through the back, give it six loops and pull her tight.
and you just pull her tight. Make sure it's really tight so then your knot won't slip. This is my brother's pole. He's kind of new to bait casting. So, just letting you know because most of you people will think I'm insane buying another pole. Never too many poles. Or rods, whatever you guys like to call them. I just do whatever. And there you are. You got your spooled up rod and reel ready for action. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna put in some fishing clips from yesterday. I went fishing over at this private pond. I'm keeping the location private. It's one of my dad's friend's pond. Me and my friend Luke caught some bass out of there. We caught, me and Luke caught uh, three and I caught two. Mine was a two pounder and I caught two two pounders. Luke caught a, he caught like a two and a half, a one point, a one seven, and another two pounder. I'll show you guys. Hey guys, just got one on the frog. Look at that. Just came up and took it. It's about 80 degrees. Why do I even have him hooked on? I don't even have him hooked. <laughs> I don't know. You should check out this one. Had a little private pond. Gonna weigh the sucker. See what he, see what he is. Nice little two pounder. Two pounder. There we go. Got one on the wacky worm. I've been working this spot for about 10 minutes. Swallowed it. Oh my gosh. I saw him nose down on I'm like, yes, yes, take it, take it. So it's just a small hook with the. Oh my gosh. I think this one's the biggest one of today. Yeah, I let him swallow it real good. It's a good two. Can I touch him? No. Can I touch him? Two five. This is a male. You wanna know how I can tell? I I saw it. You wanna know how I can tell? His tail. Scales oh, now all screwed up.
Go back to your bed, young boss.